So good morning and welcome to the DTV Survival Channel. Period. Nah, y'all, it's bad for real because um we ain't got no electricity. Look at Carter. Carter had to pee on the porch because he just didn't want to go out there, even though he ended up going over there. But he had to take a poo too, so good boy, Carter. We love you for that. But y'all, it's bad. We ain't got no more freaking uh, electricity. My mom in here on the phone, my sister. If my nephew got electricity, that's really all that matters. It is 49 degrees in here. Oh, we got, we finna get a crack of lacking. Oh yeah, my sister there up on the phone. Yeah, but um, I got a box toe up in here. Come on, focus, man. I got a box up in here, y'all. And if it's set on fire. My mama talking about gas, you know. First of all, mama, I'm not setting no damn paper towel on fire. But this fire is so satisfying. And it's warm. Who oh, man. <laughs> Y'all heard part of foot. <laughs> mm. Okay, I gotta put more stuff in the fire. What's up, y'all? It is. It's been officially 24 hours since my house has had power. And the lights just came back on. Yeah. Gonna warm up, let the heater come on, and I'm gonna get that child out of here. Sorry, my phone was posted up on Carter's arm and he's moving around. All right, Carter, you've made your debut in the vlog. Be happy, son. All right, y'all. This is the temperature. After the heat's been on for an hour, I really just went and turned the stove on. Don't mind my living room because we was looking for stuff to burn yesterday. We to burn that trash, but we ain't going to talk about that. But, um... I turned the eyes on just now. I'm letting the oven heat up. And then I'm gonna open that bad boy. Yo, comment down below if you got an oven like this. Cause I just turned it on 400 when the heat first came on. And I was like, boom, it's gonna really be up in here helping with the living room. No, this oven is a smart oven, I guess. So it won't get to, unless it gets to the temperature, it's not gonna keep cooking. So I didn't really think that take that consideration. So it wasn't doing anything, but hour later, we turn these eyes on, we can let that bad boy heat up to 400, and then hopefully your girl can get a shower when this house get warm enough. All right, y'all, look at this. When I tell y'all yesterday, I was burning stuff up in this fireplace, clothes, boxes. If you really know me, you know I had this box for about six months now, and I had a big old plan to do a DIY with it and not say block day, get half of a count. And the other half is about to see the demise once I sweep out this fireplace.
All right, so I came back, mopped the area, got up as much ash as I could. Ooh, I came back, mopped the area, got up as much ash as I could off the floor. In the fireplace, I did not mop inside of the fireplace. I just got a lot of the ash out, well, like all of the ash. But yeah, so I got that up. Now, operation, hang a blanket over this because I was looking online on ways to basically keep the warmth in your house and you gotta um, cover up shit like this because uh, nope. All right, I'm back y'all. Again, we're about to hang up this blanket or whatever. But um, I just wanted to show y'all the ghetto and stuff at all. So I had to pull these two itty bitty meals about the fireplace where somebody was hanging some stuff for Christmas and they just painted over it or whatever. About to paint on the seal. Got a hand in hammer, but I'm about to hang up this blanket right now. Keep some of this heat in. All right, y'all, it's a little ghetto, <laughs> but it'll work. So that's gonna work. This is, it's already literally keeping it cooler, I mean warmer over here in this area than it was before I even put this up. So 10 out of 10, highly recommend closing this up. Let's do a little temperature update. The house went up five degrees. Quarter, get out of here. But that's quite a bit screen. All right. So, boom. Y'all see? Got an oven update. The oven actually came for 400 and this thing on. And it's just going on and on like a regular oven. We need to keep from, uh, you know, spontaneously combusting. But the eyes is on. Now, I hear that noise. It's the dryer. I'm telling you, I'm taking advantage of everything I can do. And we're going ahead to wash them on the clothes. They got snow on them. Carter. What are you doing? What are you doing to help make the house warm? Being a bad boy. Hey, mom, being a bad boy. All right, so all this prevention stuff that I've been looking up, this window needs to be covered up. And I need to pull this bed off this window and pull it back on this wall because that's what I'm going to do, right? No. Hey, man. God is real. This man out here getting wood and passing out the fuck. That's, that's beyond me. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. There's some if you want. So, we don't have any water. <laughs> Y'all. <Yeah. Okay>, <laughs> no, but for real though. <laughs> this shit is ridiculous. Now, all this cold. Now, this is what I want to say to y'all. If y'all see the skyline lit up tonight and it's lit up all night, they're not rolling. They're not rolling. Now, while we over here rolling with the punches, literally, they gut punching us. The skylight's still lit. Highland Park, still lit. This don't make no fucking sense. But I'm going to say this. Whenever that lawsuit come about, I'm going to join in. This some bullshit. Pass me a piece of cardboard. Thank y'all for coming to my mama TED talk about our current situation. Cause we're cold. And we don't have water. We don't have no water. We can't get this fire started. Hey, 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 hey. Fire is going. Cause of this goddamn wood is so wet that we're over here having to improvise and this just don't make no sense. How do you go 24 hours without electricity and then you only give us two goddamn hours, sir? I think you got this shit backwards. We're supposed to have a light <laughs> for 24 and be out for two hours. I would take that. But this right here. And then the two hours that we was on was two to four. This right here. <laughs> this right here is some boo. I ain't going to cuss on my baby's <laughs> show. But what I'm telling you is this some boo. This some bull for real. I got on two jackets. 
just so I can be warm by the fire? Come on, man. It's too goddamn cold. I got too many illnesses for them to be doing some shit like this. You know what I'm saying? This makes me want to get my ass up, get a job, and say fuck the illnesses, and so that I can go live in Highland Park. Because this some bullshit. This some bull. I said I wasn't going to cuss. I'm not going to cuss. But it's getting dark, y'all, because the fire is starting to go low. Hey, 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 So, I'm going to let Geisha continue on with this, trying to get this thing lit up. Because she's been a real G through all of this. And I don't just mean G for Geisha, neither. All right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, y'all. Ask about me. Big time with the fire, man. Big time, big time. You heard that? That's the wood trying to cool off. It will dry up, but... <sighs> we gonna get something going. Carter, relax, boy. Yeah, this is crazy. For real, for real, that's crazy. No lights, no water. For real, Texas. Hmm. <sighs> Y'all, our lights came back on for a second, right when we got this fire. Good and good. Who you know? Who you know? Nah, boy, for real, we finna. There you go, hey. No, it's gonna start back doing it again, mama. It's all right. It's season the chop. Season the chop. So I'm starting the fire. I gotta wash my hands. Do something. Do something. We ain't got no fucking water. <laughs> Chops. Getting the chops. Getting the corner. Get out the kitchen. Oh, y'all. This is a lot. I'm keeping that fire going, though. Yeah. Keep it. Oh, baby, it's going great. I know. The fire want to start doing real good when the lights come on. That's all right. It's doing its job. Oh, my. Oh, no. It didn't catch. I thought this big one right here caught. Oh, no. We getting more in the back to catch. Oh, Carter. Carter, don't worry. 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 Son. Are you over there being ungrateful? No, no, no. And I put it right where neither one of the fires is going. Is that? Jesus. Oh, Y'all, don't, don't dig your hand in fires. Unless you the fire doer like me. I'm the fire doer over here, so I got to do it. Turn what? It's going really good right now, okay? <laughs> The fire is doing good though, for real. <laughs> we got jumped up. <laughs> Baby, I caught that dog. I thought you saw my dog in the fire. I just heard his feet. Start, 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 start. And I ain't heard no more caught him. <laughs> the water getting hot? No. But you know what? Uh, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Look at this. This fire is making us what? G for what? What are you doing over here? Uh, Why are you licking the firewood? Fire, to the fire, to the living, to the world. Da 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 Yeah, you the low point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what's up, y'all? Just a little update since we done came back on the camera. Sorry, my dog was doing too much. We have eight taking a bath and moved the bed to the front of the fireplace. Just in case. However, Mr. Fryer is trying to go out, and tonight is when it's supposed to get terrible, so... Whew. We're gonna hope for this because we're out of firewood. All that wood we had, I know. And it's gone. But how long was we burning the fire for? Uh, I think that fire burned for about a couple hours. I had a fire going for a good few hours. Now, Mr. Fire is no longer with us. However, the electricity is still on, the water came back on, so. We're pretty lit right now. Spectrum back on. Spectrum is working. Even though they said they wasn't. Took us a whole email. 
But yep, I'm tired, y'all. As y'all can see, I'm laying down in this bed. I'm gonna get my blanket. I got my dog. I'm gonna get my pillow and probably go to sleep for the night. But I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Bye. Such a good boy, Carter. <sighs> good morning, y'all. It snowed again. And the streets are covered. And my mom has scared the dialysis today or tomorrow. She hasn't been in a whole week. And she goes multiple times a week. I just need this the, the word that's for lift, for real. What is up, y'all? I'm back. Um, yeah, that's Liddy in the background. Y'all know. Y'all watch vlogs, and y'all know the girl Liddy with the travel vlogs, everything. That's a commercial. But um, I'm about to do something to my hair. Our power has been on for like an hour and a half. It came back on early this morning, so I'm gonna try to pull myself together and just be more presentable because I just realized this is this isn't passing anytime soon. So maybe I should just put my best foot forward and just you know. But y'all bear with me because if the lights go out in the middle of me trying to do something, I'm gonna be upset or upset. So I'm really just gonna try to slick my hair to a ponytail. Not that you're dramatic, but. The bonnet is just turning me up and getting like little pixie knots from just having my hair half braided down, half twisted. So we're gonna fix that. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, I'm using my flash. The lights went out. Um, our lights came on at 7 a.m. this morning and they went out at 10 a.m. So that was three hours. Uh, I didn't even get to tell you guys about Monday and Tuesday cause I just really started trying to document this whole experience with the snow and stuff like that. I think, what, Monday afternoon or whatever? Or Tuesday? You yeah. know. But Monday night, we walked in 8 degree weather, 2 miles to my sister's house. So she stayed in them apartments over here. But their apartments isn't out. And I figured out why their apartment's not out, mama. Their apartment isn't out because they're by a, um, a nursing home. There's a nursing home. Like a, a house nursing home for like somebody like Auntie Dale. There's a nursing home in that neighborhood right behind it, and they're not turning off electricity in the areas where they're nursing homes because people are on um, machines and stuff like that. So that's why my sister's power will never be out this entire time because they're not cutting off or putting people who will buy nursing homes on rolling um, electricity. So we walked over there that night. We had to walk back Tuesday morning because my mom needs to take her medicine. And then the lights came on at 2 p.m., when we got back, so we came back like it's like 8 a.m., but the lights got back on at like 2 p.m. And they was on until like what time, mama? Uh, since we yeah, we've been trying to keep track of everything, like with the rolling, to try to see if it was a pattern because we was off for 24 hours at first. And now we're kind of getting on the rolling schedule with the apartment complex. Um, it went out at 2 p.m., and I think it was on, I think it was on for like, that was the time we had it for a short time, right? We only had it for like two hours. So we was only on for like two hours. Yeah. Went back off at like four and then it came back on at like seven and it stayed. No, it came back on at like 10, right? It came back on late last night and was on for like three hours and then it went right back out. And then it came, my mom said it came back on. At 12, it was on till 4 a.m. And then it went back out and it came back on at 7. And it was on till 10 a.m. Our water was out yesterday, but it also came back on today. So, grateful. Grateful, grateful, grateful. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we got to figure something out. A new blanket of snow is down. Huh? Yeah, we had to hustle in some showers last night because we ain't, we had to share my bed by the fireplace and we ain't getting that bed stinking, okay? But um, we got to figure something out about transportation and moving because my mom needs to go to dialysis. Dialysis place is technically closed today. So we're going to try to do something about it tomorrow. But she goes multiple times a week and she hasn't been in an entire week. So yeah, ponder on that. But we're trying to make it, making the best out of everything. From the time I heard, we're going to try to hold on to as much heat as possible. And we have water. So, greatness. I'm going to come in and let y'all, quarter, Jesus, show y'all the 
stuff I've been taking daily to try to keep from getting sick during all of this. So I've been making sure I take an allergy pill every day. And like you can see, I have severe allergies to the point where I'm supposed to already be taking these every day, but I don't, cause who does that? But I'm literally taking them every day with this vitamin C because I'm trying my hardest not to get sick right now. Welcome back to the the, the storm vlog. Um, the lights came back on. Everything was great. Literally came back on for a few seconds. Sorry, Carter, want to be in here. Hey, Carter. Hey, came back on for a few seconds, and our heater started tripping. Weren't turned off, turned back on, and now it's officially off. So we're assuming that the heater is out. Huh? It came back on. Came back on. I know y'all heard that. Well, we just gonna wait it out, you guys. You know, I'll keep y'all updated. Period. All right, good morning, y'all. Uh, the last time y'all seen us was yesterday morning. And that was when we had lights. And then by the time my lights went out, we didn't have a charge. So I couldn't record anything. But the lights and water came back on yesterday. Late to the point to where I just plugged my phone up and went to sleep. Um... I'm waking up now. Uh, the snow outside is thick. Um, I'm going to go show y'all the snow real quick. So, yeah. As y'all see, it, it's a whole another layer. Um, for the most part, everybody who I know at Prairie View and in Dallas, our lights and water are good. Um, the weather isn't in the seven eight nines it's in the 20s now it's in the uh, 30s so we're hoping that you know some of this ice comes down there's not no sun out either so it's just this is just sitting outside just sitting and sticking on the ground or whatever but um i'm gonna end the vlog here because i gotta put all my focus into trying to get my mom to dialysis she hasn't been and if you know anybody with kidney failure disease your kidneys do a lot for your body they flush out toxins everything my mom is full of fluid and overloaded so i'm putting my energy into that um thank y'all for watching this vlog we really tried to make the best out of a bad situation with this storm trust me at first it was literally like from the beginning beginning it was it was cool like i was going outside playing in the snow coming back in a warm house and it was all right you know what i'm saying that was literally sunday monday outages tuesday tuesday really that you could say tuesday was completely out wednesday we was rolling with the with the uh, neighborhood or whatever and today is thursday and again my mama hasn't been in the since last friday and she goes three times a week so that's what I'm working on. That's what I'm finna get on. Um, if you have, if you were in this store, please comment down below and tell me how you kept you and your family good. You know what I'm saying? We just need to be a lot more ready for stuff like this. I don't know if it was just not watching the weather before, not knowing I need to prepare, not taking the preparation serious. Because even me and my mom, we ain't got stuff, but we got like stuff that go in the microwave and noodles and stuff like that like stuff that needed electricity not necessarily stuff like crackers and soups that you can heat up on a fire stuff like that so I learned a really big lesson out of all of this and I'm, I'm just hoping that we can get into a better situation I'm hoping that Texas understands this power grid thing and the the mistakes that they made Lord just we already know what we under, who we dealing with. I hope that people really start opening their eyes because my eyes are going to be open to politics and political situations now because we need to get some shit together because this is ridiculous, like, completely ridiculous. Like, but, man, like I said, thank y'all for watching GTV, coming, seeing my storm vlog. Um, I'm just completely grateful that we survived this because there was literally points where it was three four five degrees we outside walking we could have died we literally could something could have happened to us car could crash into us but yeah completely grateful and thankful and hoping for a good bit of sunny sunny hot days in texas okay
thank y'all and i hope y'all have a good one